dear students very good morning in this session we are going to learn a brief introduction about the memory management it will be helping us in our day to day abap work so let's go and start the outer layer over here in the ppt you can see this is representing the sap application server instance now this application server instance can have the shared memory or shared application buffer also we can say the shared application buffer can be used for the purpose of exchanging the data between the different external sessions so here we have the external session let me put it external session and uh, one sap application server instance can have the multiple application uh, multiple external session and in one external session you can have the multiple internal session so here if you see that this is one we can represent something like that this we can represent the blue colored area we can represent with internal sessions so whenever any program you are going to run it's going to use any subroutine right form and form it can use any method it can use any fm right then one form can call another form right then one method can call another method one method can call you know a function module one function module can call a subroutine right so like that so form method fm right one function module can call another function module so what basically i am trying to tell that when a program runs then the internal session gets loaded and that internal session is known as the role area so here you can see that this is our role area so this is the part of the program so internal session when gets loaded when we run any program then the internal session gets loaded an internal session lies inside the external session and external session lies of course inside the sap application server instance so now so now let's make it a little more clear shared application buffer is the memory area which can be accessed through the keyword like export to export to shared memory or like if you want to read the data from here import from shared memory so whenever you are going to see such kind of a statement export to shared memory or import from shared memory you have to understand that the data is getting read from the sap application server instance shared application buffer so this is the plus this is the place from where data is going to get read and this is the place where the data is going to be written using the export to shared memory right so this is for writing and this is for the the import from shared memory is for reading okay hope it's uh, clear now now here the external session if you want you can access the external session memory so external session memory also we can uh, external session memory is having the abap memory okay this external session memory is having the abap memory so 
if you want to access the data from or to above memory then we use the syntax export to memory or import from memory import from memory so you must have used right let's suppose one program is submitting the another program right generally if we have to call the another program from the first program we use the submit statement right whenever we use the submit statement it opens the another internal session right so in order to access the data between two programs if one program is going to get called through the submit keyword we can use the abap memory why because submit submit program instantiates a separate internal session and internal session can be read through this shared abap memory you can see that inside one external session you can have the multiple you know so let me put it something like this maybe here and in the same we can put it here so you can see that we can have the two different internal session within a single external session right so if these two internal session want to exchange the data they can use this area about memory area so this a bap memory area can be used for the purpose of exchanging the data between two internal session what are the time when the internal session gets generated so suppose you were running a program a report 1 and inside the report 1 if you are calling another report 2 using the submit statement so submit report 2 then it will generate a different internal session again let's suppose you have the report 1 and if it is having the call transaction like bdc call then again it's going to open the different internal session okay so these are some instances when internal session gets generated so now one more point over here that inside one sap application server instance you can have the multiple external session and if you want to exchange the data between the multiple external session right so multiple external session means whenever you are running let's suppose one report one right let's suppose you have this report one so this report one is going to get execute separately another report two is going to get uh, let me correct this the spelling report one and this is the report two so report one you are running a stand alone so it is having its own external session and report two you are running stand alone you know here we are running a stand alone so it will be having its own external session and like if you want to exchange the data between this report 1 and report 2 then we can use the export to shared memory or import from shared memory this concept hope you now are having the better understanding of memory management in sap now there is one more term you may come across about the heap memory what is this heap memory so heap memory is also known as the private memory so with respect to user that means for the user context whenever any work process we know that work process is responsible for executing any kind of 
work so whenever work process starts working it is having its own private memory okay so work process is having its own private memory it can be any kind of work process okay and that private memory is known as the heap memory so this is about the heap memory maybe in future videos i will try to ex uh, elaborate more about the uh, heap memory but hope the concept the information just i have shared it is going to be helpful if you find this information useful just type here in the comment box in the comment section useful and it will motivate me to create such more nice videos for you thank you for watching stay tuned with me bye bye